Good morning, USA. Do, 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 the wonderful something day. I don't know what I'm saying, but I'm just happy because I had a, a good mood today. And the mood is because Alfred has been messaging me. Well, not messaging me. Commenting in the comment section saying, Ivan, you should go to Monino. You should go to Monino. You should go to Monino. Guess what, Alfred? We are going to Monino Airstrip to check out what's going on there so that is the flip and plan for today and that is exactly what we're going to be doing evelina has found you i just don't like those things because you never know maybe one of them is poisonous how would you know and guys if you don't know i'm a russian guy recording every day of his life in russia in english were you gonna get any more coolness than that? Well, I'm joking. There is no coolness, but uh, at least you get to see stuff that I see myself and somewhat get an idea of what's happening. Thank you very much, Cadillac, for beeping all the time. So to get over to that cool looking museum, which was an airbase back in the day or an airport, I'm actually not sure. We'll have to read into it but it'll take us two hours and four minutes to get there. So hopefully we don't get stuck into traffic because if we get stuck in traffic, it's gonna be three hours easily. Ooh, guys, it looks like we finally, after two hours of driving, arrived to our destination. Looks like it was a military base before. Look at that hammer and the sickle and says, Monino, let's go in and see what's going on here. So we have made it over to the Monino Museum. And we're gonna check it out. So we got our tickets checked and now we could see the history of aircraft and how they were born and stuff like that. Look at this 1910 engine aircraft. It was installed on the C5 airplanes. I have no idea what I'm gonna be talking about here, but there's just a bunch of engines here you could check out very interesting 1913 i didn't even know back then they were able to make engines like that for airplanes to be honest with you but it is what it is let's see what they got here another engine 1916 1970. this is the right this is the uh, right brother engine Wow. Machine guns for the airplanes. 1928, 1915. This is really cool. So I'm guessing. What is this? 1909. Trainer aircraft made by Farman. What is? So now we're gonna check out the Second World War aircrafts. What is? And apparently they said they also have the land lease aircrafts here. So we're gonna be able to check out all sorts of stuff. Not only the Soviet airplanes, but also the American ones. Let's see. Night bomb aircraft. Wow, that's very cool. If I had have known anything about aircraft, I could probably tell you what it is, but I could read that this is a MiG-3 tactical fighter. So you could see it right here. Armored attack aircraft IL-10. Oh, yeah, this is just a bunch of airplanes armored attack aircraft this whole second world war stuff anyways just a bunch of soviet aircrafts what interests me the most is what's outside on the airstrip because there's an airstrip here and also the land lease stuff 
because a lot of people think that uh, Russians like don't say anything about it, but they do. Because the war, the Second World War, wouldn't be able to be successful without the help of the Allies. Wow! Look at those propellers. Look at this. A room with a bunch of propellers. So it looks like we're in another hangar right now with, I'm guessing, a bunch of uh, bombers. Because this all looks like bombers. You got the 2 2 bomber. Just a bunch of cool looking bombers and a fighter jet here. What is this? What is this made? It was designed on the base of P 39 Air Cobra. Where is it made? Oh, aircraft entered Air Force service under the land lease contract during the war. Oh, so this is, uh, this was uh, the aircraft during the land lease right here. Allison V-1710. So this is a U.S. aircraft right here, P-36 U.S. aircraft. So at least we saw some land lease flipping bombers. Are there going to be any more bombers? I don't know. I don't know, let's see. This is uh, some Russian bomber. It's a Ant-40. This is the DB-3. I don't know, where's the more uh, Lendley stuff? Maybe it's outside, maybe it's inside. Anyways, let's go check out the rest of the aircrafts. Guys, I'm sorry if I have like no clue what I'm talking about because I don't. I don't know much about aircraft. I just find it really interesting visiting museums like this to find out the history of uh, aircrafts and stuff like that. I think it's very, very cool. So we're just walking through the path and stuff like that. Look at this, guys. Another land lease aircraft right here. B-25 Mitchell, an Air Force and Navy Aviation Service from 1941 to 1953. 860 aircraft of the B-25 and different modifications were delivered to the Soviet Union from USA under a land lease contract. In Navy Aviation, the aircraft were applied as torpedo bombers and reconnaissance aircrafts. And also you got the famous B-25, famous Soviet pilots and heroes. Those lads over here. Wow, very cool, very, very interesting. And then you have the Li-2, which I'm guessing is a Soviet aircraft right here. And it's huge. It was made for transportation. Anyways, let's go further. Let's not talk to this Soviet looking guy because we need to see what's going on here in this museum because it is very, very interesting. Going through a tunnel right here to see. What is going on? What is going on here? <clears throat> Where are we? What is this? What is some stage? Also, you got your catapult chair right here from 1957. The catapult K4 seat. Wow, this guy looks weird. I don't know, guys. I like the US uniform more. Look at it looks nice very nice now we're gonna go outside and check out the more interesting modern stuff there's also a cabin here let's check it out what's over the cabin mig cabin we could actually walk up here and see the inside of a mig cabin you barely see it because of the reflection but Hopefully you get an idea. Looks pretty cool. There's some sandbags there for some reason. So we're walking right now into a room where they have fighter pilot uniforms. Let's just check them out. I have no idea what it is, but you could kind of see the older fighter pilots you get here. What is guy right here? But uh, yeah, this is interesting. 
this is some for the sea i don't know what i'm talking about guys no absolute clue but uh this is just a room full of uniforms see right here another uniform right here let's go outside and check out the cool stuff now as i'm getting guessing in the second world war in the 1930s fighter pilots would wear like some sort of a mask during winter because it get really cold look at this leather mask oh, macaroni imagine me driving the alka in one of those masks so guys we have finally entered the outside of the place and straight up we see a 2-4 long-range heavy bomber look at the size of that thing 1947 this aircraft was like a complete copy of some american um bomber like a complete copy i don't know which one you tell me in the comment section below but it's like one-to-one -one basically copy of an american bomber also you could check out this awesome looking i don't even know it's like a heavy transport helicopter it's called the v12 mi12 look at it. it has like propellers on top and it's huge the size of it is like i don't know how could i compare there's a fuselage of a boeing right there i think on the right and uh yeah this is huge this is very very big absolutely humongous now there's an awesome airplane that i really always wanted to check out and uh my dream is once which is probably impossible to go on a flight which is the soviet concord and that airplane is here so we're gonna check it out i can see the nose of it down there but we're gonna walk around this way to check it out first there's a 216 long range bomber very nice i think uh that that uh uh front side on the right is the aircraft in russia that landed in a cornfield I but this is huge look at it it's absolutely humongous has a soviet flag there it says aeroflot which is the russian um company for flying company for flying you get me it's a company that flies airplanes and stuff like that there's a lot of things that we saw before like the su-24 tactical bomber this is awesome so as you could see guys that uh, part over there opens up so you could load up whatever you want and transport it and the cool thing about it is i'm guessing it could land anywhere basically let's see what we got here we just see a bunch of fighter jets here very very cool a bunch of soviet fighter jets a t6 slash one experimental aircraft 1967 i wonder did it go in production i guess not but they uh, did 300 test flights on that thing i can't even explain we got the interceptor here would we'll intercept something then you got your Su fighter jet. Oh wow, I think there's another one right there. Guys, I cannot wait to show you this. This is flipping awesome. Now over here, we're gonna see the airplane that I came over for. It's flipping amazing. It's like, how did technologies go back? I have no idea but uh i hope one day i'll be able to actually walk inside because they actually allow in some days on some occasions to actually go inside this aircraft and uh you guys ready for this i can't hear you you guys ready start screaming into the screen right now because right here we got the soviet concord aircraft it is the 244 it's a supersonic passenger aircraft it is something amazing look at it aeroflot 
the supersonic passenger jet it is amazing 1968 wow and apparently in this museum the nose part even works so as you can see they still have the stairway here so you're able to go on top and check it out guys check out this aircraft right here i have no idea what it is but it looks awesome what is it it's a two 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 m3 supersonic long range bomber wow made in 1977 that's crazy and also check this out guys there's air flood uh, jets there that were carrying passengers and here as well those are just uh those are passenger jets can't believe this guys this is awesome imagine one day the soviet union citizens would be flying in it absolutely unbelievable historically look there's even some planes over there why can't i walk over there that looks awesome wow oh my god this is legendary and you could see they're restoring some of those airplanes right there there's a uh, a uh, few guys there restoring the aircraft they're just talking look at them they're saying the car is going to be here soon <laughs> evelyn is like whoa it's aeroflot look at that aircraft that looks cool but uh this is interesting look at what they're doing long-range passenger aircraft wow and look at this this is huge il 76m it's very big very very big i think they still use them don't they i don't know guys you tell me i'm not a big on aircraft il 76 military transport aircraft wow in 1975, 25 world records were set on the Il-76, including speed record of 857 kilometers an hour on a thousand kilometer route with 70 tons load. 70 tons load was lifted in the height of 11,875 meters in this aircraft. That's crazy. That's crazy. There's also an aircraft right there. Wow. <laughs> if Pichenko was an aircraft, she says. Wow. This is just awesome. This is really cool. And uh, I'm guessing one day they're going to be able to walk down there, check out more aircrafts. But that's also an Aeroflot right there. That's really cool. Really interesting. A bunch of aircrafts in one place. This is very cool historically. What is this? and 22 the first the world's first and largest wide body for its air time aircraft and 22 it's a 41 world record look at that and 22 it's huge absolutely huge antonov experimental design bureau very cool so before this was actually an airport for uh i think military i'm not sure but you could see the runway this was like a runway all the way down there and it goes down there and here we have a strategic bomber 295 which looks awesome from 1952 no idea what this airplane is looks very funny look at evelina walking around she's like out of a movie right now beautiful beautiful and i'm wearing the chicago t-shirt representing chicago look at evelina this is evelina's Helicopters. This is helicopters for Soviet kids. If you had a kid in the Soviet Union, he'd be flying around the small helicopters like this. Because why not? So we got a bunch of uh, helicopters that I think they still use. Those ones, I think I saw them on some videos. And there's also a helicopter right there. You could see it's uh, on those long wheels so that it could carry a cargo in it or something like that. I don't know and uh, it looks like there's another soviet supersonic aircraft right here because it looks supersonic i think it's a two but which one is it it's a two wait it's not or is it 
It's a two. I'm pretty sure it is. But which one is it? Look at it. Supersonic aircraft. Very, very cool. Let's go check out in front how it looks like. Look at this sausage looking helicopter. What's going on there? What did it carry? It's a Yak-24 heavy troop carrier helicopter. 1952. Looks very square and looks like a sausage. But we still gotta figure out what is this? Is this a two or is it not? But it looks something like supersonic. So let's go check it out. Oh, so as you could guys see when they wanted to land or go up, that would go down and then they could see the runway. But when they're flying, the nose goes up and uh, I have no idea how they see anything. Anyways, this is the Su-100, a strike reconnaissance aircraft. What is it? Is it uh, supersonic? I think it is. The aircraft with unique titanium and steel structure, the first aircraft in the world to fly, quadruplex redundant three axis fly by wire system. Total 10 flights made. No idea what that meant. Tell me in the comment section below the heck that meant quadruple something something but they told us to go into this hangar and check out what's inside so that's exactly what we're gonna be doing going into some creepy looking wooden hangar to see what's inside of it with this leaking thing hopefully that's not gas guys so this uh, creepy place right here we found a stratospheric balloon car I'm guessing that's from uh, flipping space i don't know what is a 1914 bomber wow i can't even imagine how they flew that and look at this heavy bomber Ilya from 1913 this is like first world war type of stuff going on like just a bunch of engines there and they wooden this is made out of wood i think imagine flying that flip and fall from the sky one of them Moskvich Moskvich this is a small Moskvich car looks pretty cool but uh, this Moskvich has like a battery pack in the back to charge up aircrafts flip and awesome we got some planners God, guys, we're finding some weird stuff. Finding some weird stuff. What is going on? There's like jet fighters from 1947. What is? What the heck is that? That's like a yeah, uh, a boat. That uh, it's it's. This basically looks like a boat that they put some wings on and an engine, and it started flying. What the heck? And a 2114 um, thing right there. What is this helicopter right here? Look how cute it looks like. Small little helicopter. And then there's a turbo lot, which is the flying stand apparently. Oh my god, guys. This is basically a jet engine right there, like that. How does this work? The flying stand can make vertical takeoff and landing, free hovering, make horizontal and curling flights with the help of gas vanes and jet flap rudders. It was designed to test controllability and stability of vertical takeoff and landing aircrafts. Exhibited 1958 Tushno airfield. This was in 1956. They strapped on an engine to a box and started flying around in it. How mad. But this is... We were in one of the museums in Moscow of the defense of the Second World War and we saw a snowmobile. It's like a snow sled, but this is a snowmobile. <laughs> Look at this. This is a legit cool looking snowmobile right here. It's a Pobeda car with skis there and a big propeller engine in the back. The stock car Pobeda was powered with the Aviation AA-14 engine and equipped with skies was the scheme for the snowmobile North 2. The North 2 was designed to operate in Siberia, the Far East and Kazakhstan during impassable winter period. In 1964, the production of the snowmobile was stopped. So it was produced for five years. Wonder how many of them were made. This is awesome. 
What is this? The Buran, by the way? I think it is. The experimental Buran. Flippin' egg. That's crazy. That's really cool. Record range aircraft. A number of outstanding flights in the world range of non-stop flights records were performed on the Ant 25. Wow. Range of 13,000 kilometers. What is this? Experimental airliner in 1924. The first all metal aircraft in our country which started a new period of applying metal in aircraft building and set the monoplane scheme of an aircraft. So this is the first aircraft that used metal. Ant 2 in 1924. Wow. And there's pieces from the Second World War of some aircrafts that were founded. Engine parts and stuff, wings. Very cool. So I talked to one of the workers that worked there and I was like, is it possible to get onto the 2114 at uh, 2144 one day? And he said the last time anybody was able to go on it was two years ago because for some reason now they're not allowed allowing the volunteers that used to repair all that stuff and make it look very presentable to go inside. And I asked them why and they were like, just the government making it harder for volunteers to do it for free could you imagine that and the director of this museum is like he wants the volunteers to come in but for some reason now they have to have a contract so it's just a big pain in the ass now which sucks hopefully one day we'll be able to uh, get in into the 211144 because it landed there by itself on the 29th of february 1980 or something you know what I can't handle the most? The traffic, right? The traffic is horrible. But the thing is, this traffic is because people, for some reason, when there's a slight change in the road, they decide to drive 10 kilometers an hour. I don't understand why. And the tra most traffic in Moscow is because some people are just a bit too afraid to press the gas pedal. Really annoys me because you waste so much time in traffic, it's not even funny. Like we've been in traffic for the past like two hours already. It's crazy. This is just unbelievable. Look at it. But so guys, the vlog is not finished yet. We are going <laughs> <laughs> We are going over to the fields to raise the ladder. Let's flip and go. Oh Valentin is getting crazy! Getting into a car crash. So we're driving through the fields. And if we're gonna get stuck, we're screwed. So we kind of drove around the field for a bit so the car looks like this now a bit yeah. dirty but we did have fun look a bit of leaves very nice anyways let's flip and go get a bit of groceries go home and rest well guys i made a mess because um i held up this and it like exploded in the hand God knows what that is. Well, we're back home from the trip, the lad adventure, and stuff like that. Hopefully, you enjoyed this little vlog. I think it was very interesting. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment in the comment section below. And also, you could press the link in the description. It's boosty. You could either chat to me there for absolutely free, follow me there for free, and also support me. Thank you very much, everybody, and see you in the next log.